Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's learn more about Costco, shall we? Shall we? Shall we also play Who You Talk About? Well, we read a comment and then we have to guess whether it's about you or it's about you. Uh huh. Matt YP8 says, I like that blank looked like a creepy alien man when he was a boy. That's gotta be me. <laughs> I, your eyes you were large. You basically just, looked exactly the same as you do now when you were a child. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just smiling a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, there you go. Yes. Creepy alien man as a boy. Yeah, well, what you don't know, Matt YP8 is. <laughs> Okay. I, you know how much I just communicated in that one noise? From my on, on my planet, uh, I basically just wrote a book to that guy by going Mark. because we're our brains are very different, and there's a lot of things that very we, concentrated. We pick up on lots You're able of to things. to concentrate your your well, it's like stories. There was it. a lot of things happening there. If you were to slow it down, you'd be able to hear it. And there's different frequencies, and there was the look on my face. So many, there's so many different points of interest that can communicate things. Humans, basically what I'm saying is humans are stupid. I like going to Costco. It's very entertaining. It's like when we go to Walmart, when we went to Walmart and done, and we had to go there multiple times, and yeah. then like there's like a whole world that we didn't know about. And it's just, you know, the cereal aisle was just illuminating. And Costco's yeah. like that in many ways. Everything's so big, and then you've got to, I mean, like, it's a lot of stress for me. I'm picking out, you know, you're thinking about, do I have the storage space to allocate for this much extra large family oh, size yeah, cereal? No. no. I'm talking about, like, vacation Costco, not, like, oh. real life Costco. Like, going home to North Carolina Costco where you, yeah. you're you not there to, to purchase for your life. You're there to have for entertainment, oh, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not actually buying anything. You're there for the free samples. Uh, but, I mean, your parents are, are buying things. I'm specifically only talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give it. Give us a. Give us a, a okay. trivia here. Here's Let's a scandal. A, a scandal? Since, yeah, it's like a. Thing. It's like a Costco scandal. Is it real or fake? A real or fake scandal, man. That's why oh. I said, bro. Oh. A Cincinnati area family was surprised to find that the punching bag they bought from Costco wasn't filled with sand, but was instead stuffed full of dirty thongs, bathing suits, bras, and underwear. This incident was a result of an unknown manufacturing error, and the perturbed customer said the inside of the punching bag stunk to high heaven. Dirty thongs? How does dirty manufacturing lead to dirty thongs? And if I could know the answer to that, that would be... Life changing. I, I know where I want to work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nasty. You're working in a place where what you do all day is you stuff stuffing into punching bags, and then you throw a party, and you're like, "Hey, Everybody I'm throwing pushed. a party. I got the work keys, and bring your dirty thong, <laughs> or get your thong dirty." That's not a manufacturing issue. That's like a I don't know what it is, but it sounds like a good time. No, it's not. Yeah, it's it. That, that did not. It's happen. a party at the plant. That did not happen. Yeah, there's as no much as I wish it did, it didn't. I, I, I hope it did. And first of all, yeah, there's no why way. Why are you going to open up your punching bag? Well, if you're punching it and you're like, that feels like a dirty thong. <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. I think this has been exposed. It was real. No. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that that uh, excuse is certainly not real. But wow. It was real. I would, I would have, I would have enjoyed to be a fly on the wall at that party. Hmm. A Costco in Fort Worth, Texas had to recall all of the ice cream from their shelves after dozens of customers reported getting home only to find their quarts of ice cream already had perfect, dirty thongs. Perfect scoops of ice cream missing. I did the quotes with my fingers and then I realized perfect you can't see me. Costco was never able to determine who the mysterious precise scooper was. Scooper. But per the last scandal, it was probably a manufacturing error. Right. Little scooper got in there and got into. I mean, a snooper and scooper. You have to be. I mean, first of all, Costco is open twenty four hours, right? Or is it not? I don't think so. Okay. They close it just long enough for that, someone to get in and snoop and scoop. If, I'm never there really late with my parents, right. so I don't know. I believe that this happened because it was it was one of those twenty four hours in Costco things. Oh, oh. but it was twenty four hours at Costco, and I'm scooping. It's so tempting when you're working with with ice cream and you just pop that. I mean, there's, 
thing is there's there's tamper proof seals. Oh, now you're thinking about too much. Okay, that's why I'm gonna say it's fake. It tamper probably, probably is, but tamper proof I'm, seals. I'm staying with no my one would It is fake. And I would have said it's fake because that first scoop is always really hard to get when it's like super frozen. So you have to <laughs> yeah. take it out and let wait a second. Right. Well, it's not it something you can it just sneak in It depends on there. your scooping technique. Yeah. And, and the tamper-proof seals. Always look for the tamper-proof seal. Do you do that? Do you think about that? Uh, you think about it when it's there, but if it's not there, do you realize it? This is... I saw an interest. I saw a shower thought mm. uh, on uh, the Reddit and... Uh, even though I'm trying not to go to Reddit since we play games with Reddit, but it just it happens to be one of the feeds I'm, I'm sure. on. And the guy said, we will return, like we will meticulously check our peanut butter and our jelly to make sure that it's got the tamper-proof seal, but yet we trust bread that just has a little, is twisted and has a piece of plastic on it. Like, that's a good point. Why is bread not sealed better? Or why is peanut butter not sealed as well? Yeah, and, the, and you can probably trace it all back, the tamper-proof seals, trace it all back to just one jerk who did something very selfish and heinous. And well, there was a guy who, who, did, who, who poisoned a bunch of people with, through uh, like medicine or something like that in the 80s or 90s. That was one of the things that started it. So you want the twisty ties on the bread to be up. To then have like a wax seal placed on the, on the end of the twisty tie. Or like a, like a pin, you have to enter a pin. <laughs> yeah, the, a bread pin. Yeah, what's your bread pin? I don't know. It changes every loaf. <laughs> um, quick reminder. I to answer. I am not a robot. Check out our <laughs> mythical society if you haven't already. We want you to do that. It's uh, it gives you unparalleled access to all things mythical, um, and then exclusive series like our React series, our Carpool series, um, and it's tamper-proof seal for your protection. Quarterly physical item collectible shipped to you in the third degree. Check it out for free by signing up as an initiate and then downloading the mobile app for iOS or Android. But every time you close that, make sure that you twist it and put the thing back on the plastic because we will not accept it if you just take it and fold it under the bread and put it back in the drawer. In 2013, Costco came under fire when the jewelry company Tiffany & Co. Huh. filed a lawsuit because Costco was selling rings labeled as Tiffany rings, despite Costco having no affiliation or deal with the brand. Costco was found guilty of trademark infringement and counterfeiting and had to pay over $19 million in year? fines. 2013. 2013, Costco's do playing this kind of game? I mean, they got, they are messing with dirty thongs, though. Well, you, we, know they, happens is, we know they have a ring because they have a $420,000 ring on the, on the site. But this could be the kind of thing that whoever wrote this particular one, if it is fake, was inspired by the fact that they do sell jewelry at Costco. I, I think that it's just an honest mistake. To, a Tiffany ring might just be like, oh, this is... You know what? You, oh, you, Tiffany's you, a brand. You picture a certain type of. I thought she was a ring. person. I just thought it was a girl. Yeah. I, I just thought it was. Like, this would look great on Tiffany. Kind of like Bikram yoga. So you're saying even if this was real, that you personally forgive Costco for doing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah. it. Got it. But I think it's fake. Real. It's real. All right. I wish I could have channeled some of this wind energy into the putt putt earlier. In 2018, Costco caused a massive uproar when they announced that they'd be retiring their Polish hot dog. Customers were not happy, especially when it was replaced with an acai bowl, amongst other things. No, that didn't happen because they still got they, ain't that they still got them big hot dogs. They, get rid of bowl. they know their they know their audience. Acai! No, they did it. They did do this, and 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 apparently it was a massive, in all caps, uproar, according to my yeah. voiceover. Yeah. Yeah, you can't take away the dog. You can add acai. And people love the pizza. Were they trying to get rid of the pizza next? How many bananas are in a Costco acai bowl? I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know how many bananas are in there. Less than one. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually very, I, I would like to have an acai bowl from Costco. Right Send now? it my way. You know what I've Caddy. been doing? Caddy, get the acai. You know, what, you know what I've been doing lately? I suggest in, in anybody with bananas to do this. In my house, sometimes they'll 
buy too many bananas. Right, we won't get to them fast enough and they'll start to get brown. Now, I'll eat a brown banana, but my kids won't. You know, these, these generation, whatever it is. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll take the brown spotty bananas, I slice them, put them in a bag and freeze them and then put them into smoothies and it's, woo, it is perfect in a, in a, in a smoothie to have a, a ripe, ripened banana because it's not the same negative experience. Don't throw away your brown bananas. Freeze, freeze them. them. You can but you can add them to recipes for all your banana things that you make. Or, oh, banana bread. You can do a banana bread. But also your smoothies. Anybody else do that already? Yeah, but we, or Cassie wraps the bananas in parchment paper and then puts them in a freezer bag and then puts them in the fridge and then when I, I mean in the freezer, and then by the time I see them, it looks like a very scary, mysterious, that's not supposed to be there type of situation. And she leaves then I the never peel on? Them. No. Oh. No, no. But, but, no. But, but, but then what does she do with them? We don't really do anything with them. But parchment paper. The uh she turned it into a tamale or something? <laughs> she's making frozen banana tamales. Oh, that was good. Well they're not frozen, they're in the fridge. No, no, freezer. I miss I misspoke. Freezer, freezer. Okay, okay. I do this with all rotten fruit now. Rotten fruit. Like just the other day. Right fruit. Jesse got too many peaches. It can happen. And um uh, and it's free, like I'm free. pulling them out of the bowl and I'm like, these two on the bottom, my wife would come in here and she would see this nasty, juicy spot on these peaches and she would throw the whole thing away. Generation, whatever she is. And um, I'm like, no, 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 no. We cut these up and we freeze them and daddy puts them into smoothies. Well, be careful because... E. coli. Uh, yeah. But also, yeah, I commend your uh, uh, you know, campaign to save bad fruit. Yeah, yeah. Save bad fruit. Give it because it's not actually bad. Yeah, especially when it goes into a smoothie, you have no idea. And I, I cut the the nasty part off, but the whole rest of the peach. Oh sure. That's for your smoothie. A North Dakota Costco found itself in the headlines after one of its employees decided to play the 1995 blockbuster hit Showgirls across every single flat screen TV at the same time. The employee was promptly fired, and Costco had no choice but to issue a public. Apology. Is the booba looba looba loobies? Yeah, Elizabeth Hurley's. No, what, what? Elizabeth, what's her name? Elizabeth Hurley la la What's the what's the one? What's Elizabeth um, from Say by the Bell. Olsen. Oh, yep. I know. Who's the star of that? Berkeley. Berkeley. Uh, Thank you, Matt Carney. I definitely, I'm definitely feeling like this happened. Man, at this point, I agree with you, but I'm so far behind that I have to make bad guesses. This for is the somebody who was on their way out. This is this is their resignation. Didn't happen. Sounds super plausible, but it did not happen. Oh, didn't happen. She says, or I, maybe it did happen, but we just don't know because they never apologized for it. But I don't think it happened. Right. That's an important note. If you don't apologize, no one will ever know. The California pastor found all of the Bibles in his local Costco labeled with sales stickers that categorized them as fiction. <laughs> the pastor tweeted a photo of the Bible, which caused quite the uproar amongst his congregation. That de definitely happened. But he was wearing shorts and flip-flops the whole time. Right, 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 right. He's that kind of pastor, man. Yeah, and he's got a Twitter account where he rants about things. Uh... And he thought it was funny, but then everybody came after him. No, he did not think it was funny. He thought it was the opposite of funny. Oh. <laughs> Does my making up things that about something I know cost, nothing about? Cost no. I think it happened. It didn't happen. It happened. It happened? I don't know so he posted what it. his opinion in the tweet was, but yeah, I can he, only imagine he, he, it was he might have been thinking, hey, this is you know, this is some this is some good humor. But then other I people don't got it up right. I think who, who, you, you have no way of really knowing. Don't, don't. Well, it's weird because There's when Jesse buys too many Bibles, you put them in the freezer too. From the top. No, there's a 10% chance he thought it was funny. Costco was in deep doo-doo. Bird doo-doo to be exact. When an expose came out showing the horrible conditions their chickens lived in, these conditions were <laughs> deemed so inhumane that even Brad Pitt got involved asking Costco to switch cage-free policies, and they did. Okay, the power of the pit. Now this has happened on like a large scale with a lot of corporations. Yeah. Uh, but is it 
specifically a Costco thing? Maybe. I, I just don't think. I don't. I think it's Brad Pitt with fast food restaurants. Will be glad to be associated with this, but I just don't. I just don't think Brad Pitt has ever uttered the word Costco. He probably doesn't know it exists. Is that what you're saying? He just has never said it. You know what they say, you mess with the chicken, you get the pit, because this is totally real. <laughs> oh, but I bet he like danced around actually saying Costco, he was like, you know, the big box store in bulk that shall not be named kind of thing. What's the score now? I feel like I've made a little comeback here. I don't score see it. Score is uh, tied. Oh! Two to two. Oh wait, no, it's updating. It's three to two, Rhett is winning. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I just got two in a row, Ooh, that's all that happened. Coming back, Jack! All right, all right. You ever had a Costco rotisserie chicken? Uh, no. Well, we don't have a Costco membership. We should, though. I don't either, but you go home to North Carolina. They got a rotisserie. My parents don't have a membership either. <gasps> There's only two of them. My mom's like, "There's too many things." I they got a right. good. They got a like a seafood section. You can get like big Dungeness crabs, and they, they like pop it up in the middle with a with a dude like that's like surrounded by ice and 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 pop seafood. it up in the middle with a yeah, dude. Yeah, they make it like okay. an event. Okay, fine. We'll call our parents right after this. Yeah, they will. They will I, I probably get know post, somebody. Costco. Yeah, membership post haste. Well, or Costco could give us a call. We could personally make a paid sponsored visit to Costco. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. That'd be a great video. Okay. Rhett and Link go to Costco. I, I think it would have to be Rhett, Link, and Stevie go to Costco for it to be the best video. I think if we get a sponsorship, Link's going to have to start saying the name of the store correctly. In Costco. Order. Well, you slip into Costco quite often. Costco. Costco. Okay, this is Costco. the last one, Costco. and it's worth six points. Okay, winner take all. In 2005, Costco offered vacation packages to Disney World promising a private breakfast with Mickey. Unfortunately, this was just a very regular and very public breakfast with Mickey, and the mm. term private was used because the package guaranteed a reservation. Children everywhere and a few middle-aged adults in matching t-shirts were crushed. Well, that has to be real. See, I think it has to be real. So you're, you're, you're boxing me in as, as, your, as a winner. Ah, uh, shoot. So I, mean, I, I have to change it. Unless, I mean, unless you want to change it. I'll give you a good reason to change it. Okay, give me a reason. Because um, you don't really, you don't really believe. Believe, believe in what? In Mickey? In, 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 yeah, in, in Mickey. In the power of the Magic Kingdom. I'll be honest. If you gave me a package to Disneyland and you were like, same price. Breakfast with Mickey or no breakfast with Mickey? Yeah, we have no breakfast. I choose no breakfast with Mickey. But I can see how a lot of people would be excited about that. So I'm sticking with my answer. Yeah, I, I think that's the answer. It's hard for me to. I'm gonna change it for the win. It is fake, Lick <laughs> Neil. You have won <laughs> a breakfast with Mickey. <laughs> so that was which just, is real? No, I mean. No. Yeah. What, and we get to eat uh, acai bowls yeah. and Dungeness crabs. Dungeness. Free samples. Wow. Dude popping up in the middle. Dude. Did he literally come out of the floor? Middle. He comes out of the floor. He's like, like they eventize it. It feels special, guys. It, when you see the seafood man in the you middle eventize. of Costco, you're gonna you are going to feel it. When you see the seafood man popping up with his dungeon, Dungeness crab in his hand. Are you a member of the Mythical Society? Want an even easier way to dig into content like behind the mythicality and Rhett and Link React? Well, download the new free mobile app now in the Apple and Google Play stores.